Hi guys, it's me Danielle Danny Buttons and I'm here with something very random today. Um, this kind of, my uh, this idea was spurred by this item. Anyway, if you saw my last video, it was my monthly haul and I said one item had not yet gotten to me yet and it since has. I bought this on Prime Day. What is it? Okay, hold on. It's all the markers in the world. <laughs> so, First, let me say, I have not tried these yet. I have never heard of these brands. These could be terrible markers. I do not know. So I just want to say that before anybody goes out and buy them. And honestly, I don't think you will because of what I'm about to tell you. So these are the, that brand, Donoxty, Donoxty. I have no idea how to say that. Uh, don't know what that X is doing in the middle of this word. Um, but yes, these are these markers. There were 168 of them. And there's also a bunch of freebies, which I'm going to show you but these were on prime day deal so right now if you go on amazon they're 57.99 they were on prime day deal for 37.99 and there was a 20 dollar coupon so i got 168 markers for 17.99 so in my opinion even if they end up not being the best i think they're going to be worth the shot so that's what we did let me show you the extras and then i'll talk about what i'm going to do with these in today's video so it came with a bunch of little little extras we got a gel pen white gel pen i don't know what brand this is but it works there we go we got a black micron uh 005 which those are always nice super fine tip the finest tip I don't know if that's gonna work on my hand, it's so fine. That might be dried out, but you know, it's a freebie, so it's okay. I got my my own coloring glove. I'm so excited. Sheena always uses these, and I always wanted one, but then I never ended up purchasing one. I am a righty, let's give it a shot. Uh oh, I missed my finger. Whoa, it feels really weird. So that way you don't get ink all over yourself and drag through. I think this is, I've heard this is better for lefties because they worry about that more, but I'm excited to give it a try. I usually don't have that much problem with alcohol markers besides maybe reds. It came with this tiny pencil case. It's felt, it's nice enough. It came with the color charts. Um, I might use these, we'll see. Uh, I'll show you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you in a second. And it came with a little pad in theory to put between, but it's super tiny. So I'm not really sure what I would put this between, but we're gonna keep that around too. So there's all the extra little goodies, which those are always a nice touch. That is not necessary, like I didn't buy these for that. So we're back to the markers, what we're gonna do. First, I am probably going to swatch them all. Um, I'm not going to swatch them in my swatch book. I'm going to swatch them. I just printed out some random sheets or I might even use that little color chart they gave me. And I will tell you why. I don't plan on keeping these together. So what I'm hoping to do is in this video, I would like to stack these by color and then I'm going to go through my popular color by number series and make sets. So for example, let's just grab an example. <sighs> Do I have an example? Hold on. Nobody move. Perfect. For example, this is a Sun Life drawing book. They use these 22 colors on tons of their books. Basically every Sun Life drawing color by number and all of Kira Shershnova's color by numbers use the same exact colors in this order. So what I'm going to do is make a packet, get a little, um, pencil case and fill it with one through 22 of these markers. And I'm gonna keep doing that. I'm gonna hopefully do the Sun Life is my main goal. Mindwear, I would like to do one for the Sachin Sachdeva books that have the 21 palette. Um, I would like to do one for Jade Summer color by number. I'll have to see. I don't know how many of each color we're gonna end up having in here, but we're gonna, we're gonna test it out. I did ask on Amazon if these left yellowing and somebody commented that they did not. So I might do a test myself and just see if I will find any answers quickly. But again, I'm planning on using these only in color by number, which as you know, my motto process over product. So 
or result, I should say, process over result. So if it does end up yellowing, I will be sad, but it wouldn't be the end of the world because I just really like using up supplies. I like doing color by number and I always hate when I run out of colors first. So hopefully this all makes sense. I'm going to go in to the speed color of the swatching. I'm not even sure how I'm gonna do this because obviously I wanna start making piles of each of the colors. So I think I'm gonna keep the piles out as I'm finished. So like I'll do all the reds and all the pinks. I'm very, it's hard to tell when they're in this random order if I'm gonna be able to find enough from each category. Like I only see a few oranges, but we're gonna try our best and do what we can do. And yeah, again, $17, $17. So into the speed swatch. Okay, that step is done. First of all, look at all of these markers. Holy cannoli, that is so many. This is definitely my biggest individual pack. It looks crazy. All right, so next step. First, I'm just gonna talk about my initial reactions and then we are gonna do the next and exciting step. Um, basically, so they definitely don't feel high quality, if I'm going to be honest with you. To like. I want you to know, I'm not really trying to sell you these markers specifically. I may be trying to sell you on the idea if it works out, but just saying. I also found in there this like pencil and it's a mechanical pencil, but it's the craziest thick, thick lead I've ever seen. It's like super, super thick and pre-sharpened. I don't even think I'm gonna be able to show you, but it's weird. I've never seen lead like that. And it like comes off on your fingers. I don't know what's going on with that but I found that in the bottom. Um, also in the bottom, there was a cap to one of the markers. So this marker is completely dried out. Other than that, it seemed pretty good. I had one marker where the fine tip didn't work. If you were watching, I wrote the number in the fine tip, mostly to see if the fine tip worked. And then I used the broad tip to do the actual swatchy bits. So that was an issue. And then with number 126 and almost number 122, but mostly 126, it like came out in globs and it stayed wet for a very long time. So I don't know if you can tell, I don't know if that's just like the um, neon formula, but that was something that I noticed. So other than that, it's pretty good. I personally don't think there's enough purples. I just love the color purple. And this is the most thorough selection of grays that I have ever seen. There are so many. Um, C, cool gray one through nine, warm gray one through nine, and then five blue grays and green grays, which is kind of crazy. The green grays look exactly like the cool grays though. But again, the purpose I need this for, it's not the worst thing in the world. So that's my initial reactions. Um, also, my Micron pen, that was another freebie, does not work. So that is also dried up. I probably will not complain because, again, I only ended up spending like $17 instead of $60. So I did get a really good deal. If they ask for a review or if I find like an email address specific, I might email them because sometimes... Oh, there is an email address. So I might email them and let them know because sometimes they will send replacements. It's usually very, very slow. So we'll have to see. Um, I definitely am not going to bother with the Micron pen because it was a freebie anyway, but I might see if I can get a replacement for the dried out markers. Okie dokie. Next up, what I'm going to do. So next to me, right now I can only find two pencil cases. I'm sure I have more, so I'll look around. And I have a bunch of books that all have color palettes 
And what I would like to do is match the colors to the books and then put them in a packet and then that is that, like that, those go together. So I hope that makes sense. I'm sure it does and you guys are smart and I'm sounding foolish being worried about this. But anyway, I would like to start with color counts. This has a weird palette in my opinion. So it's 36 colors, which is huge. And the names don't match up with what I would call the colors. So for example, blue, that is dark blue in every single other book, but it is blue here. So I'm probably going to start with color counts. I don't think this one has a chart in the back, but I know a lot of these have bunches of charts. So I will probably just borrow a neighbor chart from a different book. Yes, it only has 30, but that's fine. Um, should I cut this out nicely? I'm like rushing, but we can take our time. Let's see. I'm going to cut this out with my little knife. Jupe. This is not going to be the neatest cut line, but we just need it out of there. So. so this is the back of a Jade Summer book, which their color chart only has 30, which we'll, we might get to this. I also have no idea, again, with the distribution of colors, how many charts I'm going to get through. So we're gonna learn that together. But I wanna start with the Mindware books because I really wanna color in them and buy more, if I'm being honest with you. All right, let's see how I do this. So I'm gonna put this here so I can color on it. I'm gonna have my charts available to me. Again, if you peek over there, I have them in order of how I swatch them. So like all the reds to pinks, to oranges, to yellows, to greens, to blues, to purples, and all of the browns and grays. So, yeah. Whew, okay. Mindware, let's open it up. Our first color is just named brown. Great. So what looks most like that brown? I'm thinking 93, right? It might even be 95, but I'm gonna go with 93. So let's see what we find. I'm going to do a little swatching on my cheat, my cheat, my chart. Hopefully, no, I'm off screen, but that's okay. I swatched it out and we'll see. That looks like a match to me, right? Where's the best way for lighting? That looks pretty good. So check. 93 going in my container. Next, red brown. I think for red brown, 21 looks like the winner. See, look, even in the book, they look so similar. Red brown and light brown are so similar and it's so annoying. <sighs> Calm down, okay. Red brown, do we think that 21 is red brown and 103 is gonna have to be light brown just because that's all I got? So 21 and 103, let's get those out. I'm nervous because this is like depleting my browns already. But again, that's why I got these so I'm not too upset. So red brown, I said was 21. These, oh, I didn't, okay. So they feel pretty cheap, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, you can kind of like twist these, you can tell they're not the highest of qualities. They don't have names on the barrels themselves. They do have names on both sides and numbers. Uh, I don't know if it's, it's pretty random, the number order, and it seems like some of them are already rubbing off, but I don't know if they're gonna continue to rub off. I do not know. So I wanted 21 to be red-brown. Let's see, is that a match? I feel like my lighting is not working out for me today and I don't understand why. I'm not doing anything different. Can I like make this brighter? See, that makes it yellow instead, but brighter. I don't know, maybe it's like overcast outside? No, that I don't like. Mm. I don't know. So, I'm gonna put that in there. Then we got light brown. Ooh, that doesn't look the same as it did a second ago. Did I grab the wrong one? No. Huh. I feel like, look at it. Can, oh, whoa, the light changed itself. That was weird. Okay, hold on. Did you, 
look at this compared to, oh, this one compared to that. I guess it is lightening up. Does that look like light brown to you? It's going to have to do. And tan. What screams tan to you? Maybe 169? I hope this is interesting to watch. I'm excited to do it because I've wanted something like this for a while. I don't, you know, I don't like to do this because I don't like to have a whole set and then all the blues be missing. So usually I do not assign colors specifically to different numbers, but I figured this is a good experiment to try it this way. So I'm gonna say that 169 is tan and that should be at the beginning of the browns also. This is the hardest part finding it amongst its friends over here. This is called putty. So that's fun. Putty. Hmm. I feel like it doesn't look as tan as it did. I don't know. That's the other thing too. So I swatched these on my cardstock printer paper. It is 110 pound and obviously the Amazon paper is not, which is what I'm swatching it on, but the Mindware paper is like something in between. So maybe I will give it a little like dupe and see if it dries down. Cause to me it's looking too gray, but it's also, you can tell that it's, the ink is still wet. Otherwise, I think that is gonna be the closest. Can you tell? Yeah, I think it's starting to look good. So let us do that. Next is cranberry. Like what? Cranberry. I think three is gonna look pretty cranberry-y. I have to stand up to get to it. Um, three. Woo! -hoo! My um, desk mat flew away for a second. Does that look cranberry-y? Yes, good enough. I don't wanna take a year and a half over here. Regular old red. I think four is the most red. I'm kind of like this. Mindware books kind of get the first go at everything, so they might get the best matches, and then as we go, we'll be farther and farther away, but we'll find out. Beautiful, four, red, five. Oh, four is the number on the pen. We're up to six, so seven is red orange. 13 looks like red orange to me. Another one on top. Let's see. You're not even looking at me. My bad, my bad. I was trying to let you see the charts instead of what I'm doing. So that's 13. Regular orange. What is the most orange? Potentially four. 14. I feel like we're lacking on oranges, unfortunately. I'm going to give it 23, and I'll do 14 for the next one. Ooh, number 23 is actually called orange, so I guess that was a good call. Okay, next up is goldenrod, and I'm going to say 24 is goldenrod. It's 34. Right? 24? Marigold. Let's see. Yep. That's looking good to me. Goldenrod. Then we got light goldenrod. Like, are you kidding me, guys? Light goldenrod, I'm going to say, is 45 which over here is called Canaria Yellow. Let's see, does that look like a light goldenrod or is it too yellow? Oh, no, this should be it. I feel like that looks super yellow, but over there it's right. Did I write them wrong? Huh, I guess it will have to dry down. Then we have just plain old yellow. There's not a lot of real yellows, so that's unfortunate. And I'm gonna go with what looks like 30, I can't tell, 37? Let's 
give that a try. Yup, that looks good. Aren't these like weird colors? Cause like, what would you think of when you heard cranberry? That's what's hard too. Cause I feel like a lot of the other books, it'll be like, ah, brown. And I'll like interpret that. But for this, how do you interpret cranberry? Or how do you interpret, like I would hear goldenrod and then maybe probably pickle like goldenrod and then be like, oh, I also need like goldenrod and then I'd be sad. All right, so then we got, okay, so um, you may notice the little jump. Don't know where my filming angle is. I just had a fright, not really, I don't know. So basically my video just stopped recording and my storage was full and I went to investigate why and it said that my YouTube app was 52 gigabytes large. And I don't understand why and with the help of the internet, we found nothing and I couldn't figure out how to delete it. So I had to just get rid of the whole app and re-download it. So I'm hoping that nothing important was actually on there because if it was, I have no idea how to access it. I'm still filming on my old phone, so that's okay. Um, I do most of my actual YouTubing from my new phone if I need to, but we are back at it again. I'm not sure if you missed anything, but we are up to, let me adjust you again, number 12 out of 36. So we have a lot to go on just this color chart alone. I was looking between two numbers for what to do for 36. And I'm going to try 50. 50 looks like it almost had an ink problem too. It's hard to show you everything in one frame. I probably could move my tripod a little bit farther out. Let's do it. Why not? This video turned into a mess already. So this dark green is super dark in this lighting, but I think that will end up lightening to that. No, I think it's too dark. Let's try 51. It's going to be the first one that I actually needed to double swatch. Uh oh, is happening there we go I it's very subtle but I think 51 is going to be the answer so that will go into my bag <clears throat> 13 is regular green <sighs> see look at this these charts kind of make me mad mind where green green light green olive green lime green what is the difference between these like you're fooling yourself you're fooling me and I don't appreciate it I don't see anything that they consider regular green on my chart. I guess 56 is gonna be my closest option. And this is 168 choices here, and I still cannot find one that matches their arbitrary numbers. So you can understand why I get a little frustrated at them. I'm sure, I'm sure they're also just trying to sell their color pencils, but I have not heard great things about their color pencils, so I'm not really looking forward to buying them. So there's that. Okay, light green, which is almost the exact same. Oh, I wrote 56 twice. Oh no, I wonder if two of them are labeled 56, or that was a me problem. I think it's secretly 46. I have a 46. Yes, probably. Wait, no, this is the issue. That is 46. 47? What has happened? Obviously, I didn't swatch them twice. They're two different colors. 59, maybe? Do you see 59 anywhere? That doesn't really look right. 59's up there. Oh my goodness. We have a mystery on our hands, folks. I wrote the number 56 down twice, but it's obviously two different colors. Unless secretly two of them are labeled as 56. 55, maybe? 55. It's gotta be 55, right? And this has to be actual 56, like that has to be 55 maybe? I have no idea, but I'm throwing this one in there too. And then I'm gonna have, ugh, this is hard, ugh. So let's see, is 55, that's much darker. That can't be right. Uh oh, text message from Sam. 
They're out of boxes. He went to the snack store. Why do they do this to me? I don't know what's going on and I feel like my whole experiment is going south. I might make this one green. Can you still see? Near. This one be green and this one be light green. So I'm still going to put these both into this container. And then we are going to try to find our olive and lime, which are incredibly similar. I am going to make olive be 175. These are secretly really far away. And then I'm gonna make lime be 124, I think. Ugh, let's see. 175, olive. And then 124, lime. I mean, these shades definitely all look different, and I feel like if we swap those two, that these four do look like those four. So into the cup they are going, into the container. Next up, we have blue, but their version of blue is my version of dark blue, which we're gonna go with 71. Looks like that will do. Um, yeah, 71. I'm sorry if this is the worst video. Should I speed this up or should I keep going? I'm gonna go through the rest of Mindwear and then I will speed it up for the other, however many we make it through because I don't want to bore you. Okay, turquoise to me looks like 63. We're a lot closer to the blues so I don't have to stand up between each one. So that's nice. Nope, wrong side. That's it. Nailed it on the first shot. Okay, light blue. I'm gonna go 185. Let's see what we got here. Beautiful, right? We're nailing it. It's gonna, again, dry up a little bit lighter than that. Also, I, my container is pretty getting pretty full. So we'll have to see how my other pencil case does after this. Next up is teal. Teal. That to me looks like 57. Like teal and aqua are so similar. I think I'm gonna need. <sighs> I ended up cutting the video for my little chat. So hopefully I like edit that clip. Anyway, so teal and aqua are very similar and we're gonna be getting rid of a lot of my good colors right off the bat for other books, but that's okay. I'm going to do 57 and 68. So let's see if I can find them. I'm sure I cannot. I found 57 and 68 should be around the same area. 68, found it. So 57 should be the darker one. And then 68 should be the lighter one. I think we are nailing this so far, great. Next up, we need to find eggplant. I don't think I have this color at all. I need eggplant, purple, and lavender. It looks like I'll be able to find a lavender and a purple but nothing is that dark and I don't know what to do about it because this is a roadblock already. Um, does anybody have any suggestions? I might, I was hoping that secretly I could go very dark blue and that it would look like eggplant, but it does not. And the grays are not good. Sometimes blue-gray is blue enough to substitute for other things. I'm just gonna have to test out 73 
and let's say 83 and see what they look like on this type of paper. And hopefully they will be different enough. So 73 should be the darker of the two. And 83. Let's see if both we can tell the difference and if they are like, that's definitely not dark enough. This is what I'm saying. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm getting frustrated because I just bought a brand new pack of 168 different colors and I cannot find a match for these mindware books. Does that not blow anyone else's mind? It blows my mind. This is probably what I'm gonna be stuck with, but I'm never gonna be happy. So, unfortunate, but I guess that's it. And again, now that's like half, half of my purples gone in the first book and it's not even gonna match. So, for lavender, I'm going to pick 145. So, luckily there is a match for that. Beautiful. Hopefully you can see it. Let me try to move everybody up a little bit. This is... <sighs> okay next we got magenta here we have a whole bunch more like watermelon is exactly all of these reds ah magenta probably looks best as the one that does not work so let's go with 80 i don't know i cannot believe we have another exactly red I'm going to go, let's pick a whole bunch at once. Magenta, we're gonna go with 89. Then we're gonna go 87. Then we're gonna go 12. 89, 87, and 12. I gotta stand up to get to this pile. All right, 87. 89, where is 12? Did I already use 12? Huh. I already might have used 12 for one of our many other reds in this same container. No, I used 13. <sighs> where are you, 12? 14, 11, ah, I found it. Let's see what we got, all right. So I said 89 would be magenta. Then 87 would be hot pink. And 12 would be watermelon. Do any of those seem accurate? Ooh, I just completely colored on this cap and had to rub it off on my finger. <sighs> We're, I, uh, it's okay. So we'll let those dry and make sure they match still. I don't think that eight, that this is magenta. I'm like getting frustrated to the point where I'm almost gonna scrap this video, but I did all the time to swatch it. So I'm not going to. Um. Let's move on and see what happens. Now we need salmon, pink, and peach. So I am going to go seven, 84, and 28. Seven, 84, and 28. Let's stand up again. Seven, eighty-four, and twenty-eight. So I'm saying that oh, I keep opening the wrong side too. I'm saying that that is salmon. This is pink and this is peach. Let's see how those 
dry up. Then we have white peach. Have you ever heard of white peach? No, but I think 164 is this white peach. And then a bunch of grays. Okay, I can do the grays. I am not sure if I'm going to put black in any of the containers because obviously, well not obviously, but blacks don't usually dry up. So I only have one. I'll probably just have to share it amongst everybody. I'll probably just keep it on my desk. But grays, I have a lot of. I am probably, oh, this specifically wants green gray. I'm gonna use the warm grays for these. That definitely looks warm. That looks warm. That looks a little bit cool, but we're just gonna go with three different warm grays. So I am going to do warm gray two, warm gray. Three doesn't look only one shade lighter than two. I don't know if that's a mistake on their end or what happened over there, but I'm gonna use two. I'm gonna use five and I'm gonna use nine. Let me get those warm grays. Five, I'll use eight. And what did I say? Two. Let's see if these are the three that we want. So we got two. I'm personally a bigger fan of cool grays, but these look warm to me. Okay, I feel like those match. And then we need a green gray, which to be honest, I don't think the green grays in this set look very green, but at least since I picked the warms, they don't look like the warms. So I'm going to do green gray five, which should be right next to me. And then again, I'm not gonna put the black in here. So I think we have done it. That completely filled up my little container. And again, black isn't in there. We're just gonna have to share amongst everybody. And there we go. Does that look like it matches? I have no idea. I'm going to pan you over to my markers left. Still a ton, a ton. So what I'm gonna do on time-lapse, I'm going to see how many other sets I can make, if any at this point, because I feel like mine were just took all of my colors and they were so random. And then I will come back at the end and show you my results, okay? That way, if it takes me 20 minutes and I get real frustrated, you don't have to sit through that. So I will be right back. sure what I'm going to do next. Basically, if you saw in those time lapses, I completely finished off the Mindwear set with you guys. And then in time lapse, I finished off the Sun Life set, which is also good for all of Kira Shurjnava's books. So I was really wanting to do that second because that's a whole bunch of my books. And then I finished off Belba. I'm at an impasse now because I've run out of the color red. And I think the color orange. So if you saw what I did was I went through my sets and I found them and then I handed them to Sam and he read off the numbers and I checked them off. I didn't check them off till the end of that whole set just because I think I think that was more efficient. So if you scan over here, I still have a ton of markers left that I'm not positive what to do with because I don't have orange. So um, I have a few options. I might attempt to keep going and then leaving gaps where I need to. That doesn't make sense. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. These could end up all as backups. I'm debating. I have a lot of reds in my original Tau Tree set because I just personally don't use red a lot. So I might supplement in those reds, but that doesn't help with my orange issue. So I'm not sure. I had wanted to do Sachin and I wanted to do 
uh, Jade Summer. But if you look at Jade Summer, wow, I need lots of oranges and yellows and reds. So that was not going to happen. Um, yeah, obviously, again, we will scroll again. These are all grays, which are going to be super easy to put in any pack, but also I don't need that many. Like, that's a ton. Literally, these are all grays. Every single one of these are grays. Then there's browns, and then we got the yellows, pinks, kind of reds, but not really, greens, and blues. So I'm mostly also out of purples. Interesting. Um, I think that is going to conclude this video because I've put myself into an unnecessary high stress situation. So what I'm going to do is end this here. I hope you enjoy this in some way. Again, I don't know if I specifically recommend these markers. I haven't yet used them to color with. I will link them down below if you're interested, but I think that if you can find a super great deal on a super set of markers, this could be interesting to do that with. This little experiment, I really could not pass it up for $17. So that is what has happened. I also only had two pencil cases, so I already made three sets and I'm not sure where to put the third one. I'm sure in my house I'll have more pencil cases, so I'm just gonna have to investigate. But I'm going to clean up. My desk was 100% clear, so I need to make sure to not get all messy again. And I hope you enjoyed this. Did this make any sense? Are you interested in trying it? Do you have any suggestions on what I should do? I'm also thinking, I do have my original set of Cali Arts that they started drying up. So I could also supplement in those with these leftover packs and just make what, the best we can out of this and see how that goes. Um, so those are my two ideas right now. Obviously, I also have a brand new set of Cali Arts and of Town Tree Markers. So I'm just literally being stingy and trying to use every last drop of my supplies, both because it just makes sense to me. Like, um, why waste them if you don't have to? And again, like I have them, so it makes sense. So that's where we're at. If you made it all the way to the end and suffered through this with me, first of all, thank you. Subscribe, I'm a fun time. But please leave me the word. Let's see, what word can I ask you to leave me? I don't even know what's in this book. I'm flipping off camera. The word rose or the little rose emoji, either way. Uh, comment anything you want, comment down below. Like this video, subscribe if you haven't, I'm a fun time. And I'll see you again in two days with my finished pages for the month. That's an exciting thing. So thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.